In this video, I'm going to show you how to write an emergency stop function or any function in VEX Code V5. You can see I have my VEX uh, simple gear train setup I've been using with my limit switch, my bump switch, and my optical sensor that I'll be using in this one. You can see that set up here in my devices as well. So I'm going to simply come over here, go to make a block, and you can name this anything. I'm going to call it emergency stop. Now, once I have that set up, you're going to see that I, they're asking me to define it. I can define it any way that I would like to define it. So what I'm going to do is simply come up here to my motor. I want to stop my motor. I want to set my uh, fill color to red. I'm going to display it by saying print, and I'm just going to type stop a few times. I'm going to give a wait command so I don't get that continuous print, 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 print over and over again on the Cortex. And I'm going to set my uh, cursor brain to the next row so I can go on to the next line every time that goes on. So cast set cursor to the next row. So what emergency stop means when I call it, it, with this block, it runs this function. So the rest of this I'm going to set up pretty simple. I'm going to grab a forever loop. I'm going to grab an if statement and duplicate that two times. I'm going to nest it inside my forever loop. I'm going to say uh, if my optical sensor reads red or detects red. I'm going to call that emergency stop function. If my limit B is pressed and my limit C is pressed, I'm going to uh, set my motor velocity to 50 and spin my motor forward. And if my limit switch is pressed, I'm going to stop that. So I'm going to simply then download this to my brain. I'm going to click run. If my bump switch is pressed, my motor runs. Limit switch stops it. Now, if I grab something that's red, like my stapler here while it's running, we can see that it reads red and stop here. So it's my emergency stop function on this. Now, there is that one second delay in the programming uh, as well. That's why it didn't read red.